back, turning to left these two broadcasts today. We're getting into what I like to think is a new, new series of sorts. Mainly because I've been getting a lot of questions about, you know, over the last several months, should I use this player or this player? And that is what we're going to be doing for several videos, as long as you guys like them. And if you request my opinion, because again, it's just one person's opinion. So today we're going to feature two players in my lineup, right? And here we go. So first player we're featuring is Kevin, okay? We all know who Kevin is. Most, I would say like 90% of players from beginner to, you know, level 13 have Kevin in their lineup, and they have him typically at that number four spot for obvious reasons. Power six is increased when you have him at that four spot. So if you have a maxed out, Level 13, you're level 13 and all that kind of stuff. Uh, you're going to get that extra boost about 225 power, which is insane. But as you see right now, he's on my bench. And so you ask, where would I put him? All right, who? where would I put Kevin if I could? A lot of you guys have him. You know, if you want that all power lineup, right, you're putting him either at first base, third base, shortstop, second base, whatever you guys want. It doesn't matter. But right now, I'll tell you this. Gibson is in my lineup no matter what, all right? Just all-around great player. And then Durant, he has saved me more games at that double play than anybody else. And, of course, if you saw my leadoff video, Jack is my leadoff guy, mainly because that throwing and fielding, it, he saved me a lot of those uh, close call, like bang-bang plays at third base. So the two people we're comparing today is Kevin versus Wilson. All right, so Kevin versus Wilson, pretty simple here. All right, let's just compare them directly, right? So contact, contact, 200. They're hitting the ball, the same contact. All right, power, Wilson's at 200. And then again, if you put him at that four spot, Kevin will be 225. Significant, significant increase in power. Okay, and then speed, Wilson's got him on speed. Kevin's got the throwing. And in the fielding, again, Wilson has the edge here at 181 to 162. Now, I, I don't know about you guys. Have you seen or noticed that they're not doing, the infielders are not doing that stupid diving play as much, at least? All right. So my point here is that I feel that with Wilson's speed and fielding, he's saving me more at shortstop. Again, not a traditional shortstop. Should be a first baseman. But again, I want that little extra power in my fourth hole, in that fourth, in that fourth spot, right? That cleanup spot. So my direct comparison today, this is why I have Wilson. Right? I'm a good enough hitter where having 200 power is pretty much the same as 225, in my opinion. I feel that pitchers are scared to throw a fastball to Wilson. So they're going to throw a lot more breaking balls, right? So we look at Wilson, right? And the, you know, the fastballs hit fly further, right? People, if you can hit a fastball with Wilson, the ball is going deeper, right? So you throw a breaking ball to Wilson, it's going to be a hard hit line drive. And so the idea that I want to get in the pitcher's head, people, they just throw a lot of balls to Kevin because they're afraid. All right? Yeah, they sometimes make a mistake, and it goes a long ways. But when it comes to like trying to figure out how to throw a fastball because they're afraid of the fire, that's my preference, right? Baseball, even in a game, is still a psychological chess match, right? What are you going to do? Where are you going to throw the pitch? Off-speed fastball. So, And I don't get distracted too much from Wilson's little flame on when he gets a fastball. But again, that speed, adding a little, little bit extra speed... But that fielding has saved me more runs on defense because if you've seen in my past videos, I do have a pretty decent, my ERA is pretty high in a lot of my pitchers compared to a lot of other pitchers. Uh, one, because I throw a lot of fastballs over the plate. I don't walk that many people, so I'm pitching to contact. But this is why I think, for me, Wilson is superior, at least in that shortstop and that four-hole spot, than Kevin. Let me know what you think. I want to hear this. I want to, I'll give you my opinion on any videos you want. So, guys, we're getting close to that 1,000 subscribers also. So, like and subscribe if you haven't already. And let's, let's have the comparison begin. 
Thank you for watching another Lefties 2 broadcast.